Hi, I'm Jeff with Precision Replacement Parts. Today, I'm going to show you how to install a BWK 3110-87. Now, this is an event seal kit. It'll fit an 87 and 93 full-size Dodge truck. To pick up the Ram Charger, it'll do both doors. Check our website for complete make, model, year information. Tools you need for this project are Let's get started. Obviously the vent's out of the door already. This is an RD vent. We have a couple other videos on our YouTube channel that show how to remove a vent window. They're all pretty similar. A couple screws and twist it out of the door. But once you get it out of the door, you're going to have to remove three screws. This one, this one, and this one. Now this will allow you to remove the glass, which is the first step. Now this one, once you get the screw out, you're going to want to open the glass. That'll allow you to get the glass out. And now you're going to have to pull out the actual pivot here, which means that this piece is now loose. So you can take that out and put it off the side. And now you're ready to actually get the seal out usually start in the corner here and just pull it out you get to the upper corner a little harder you have to pull down and away Past the sticking point. The other thing to notice here is that this hinge goes through the seal. So we're going to go ahead I got the old one out and you're ready to put the new one in. We're ready to install new weather stripping here. We're going to use some other weather strip lube on the upper corner here to help slide it into the frames. We're going to start in the upper corner here as this is going to be the hardest part to get started. We're going to use our weather strip installation tool to help drive it into the corner. One thing to note is there are some tabs here that are going to line up to the holes in the frame and this helps get the gasket aligned in the proper position. Make sure you have it fully seated in the corner. So I'm gonna work my way down. One thing to note is you have to put the hinge through the slot in the gasket first.
for the rest of it, you can hook one side in and then push the other side in with your finger. And you can kind of hear it click in. Now that I got the radius corner in, I'm going to go ahead and put the last corner in and make sure everything is lined up. Now you might notice it's a little bit short. But this is a rubber so you can stretch it and work it into the channel. And you notice that we're also short because we're not all the way into the tab right here. I'm going to use the weather strip tool to work it in. I'm going to stretch it in place. And you can see that it popped into the hole. Now the corner goes in nice. Now the last part is the division post section.
to help work this in, can use a little bit of our weather strip lubricant. You need to make sure you have it fully seated on both sides. You can see I li missed a little bit on this one side. I'm gonna go back, need the weather strip tool to push it in. You can see this last corner isn't all the way in. We're gonna to pull it down and stretch it into the corner. All right, we got it seated in. Now we're ready to put the glass in. All right, ready to put the glass back in. He's going to do it in the reverse order he took it out. First thing you got to do is put this pivot pin back in. And then this bracket, this little stop goes right into the slot here. So push it in. Like that, and put the screw back in noting that that's in the slot. Now I don't tighten this all the way, just keep it kind of loose, gives you more adjustability. So we can turn it. Now we're gonna put the glass in, handle open. Again, put these screws in, just get them started because you're gonna need to adjust the glass. Close it. I'm going to flip it over. What you want to make sure is that it's straight and level here and it seals good here because there is adjustability to the glass. It, we're going to look here. It looks nice and straight. We'll flip it back over. Again, watch and make sure it's straight and everything's sealing. So in that case, we can go ahead and tighten these screws back down all the way. Then we're going to go ahead and cycle the window, make sure it opens and closes correctly. Again, making sure it lines up good here. And you're done. You're ready to put this back in the truck and do the other side. 